Today we are going to cook monkfish with chorizo. I'm very excited about this recipe. In order to make this we'll need a few ingredients. We'll need potatoes for our side dish as well as a sausage of chorizo. We need some lettuce, pepper, no salt today, rosemary for spice, flour and monkfish. So I'm using about half a pound of monkfish and about a quarter pound of chorizo. Before we get started on the chorizo, I want to go ahead and cut up the potatoes and we're going to air fry those with a little bit of salt and olive oil. Now, if you know me, you know that I like to keep the skin on the potatoes. So for my air fryer, it usually says 20 minutes, 200 degrees Celsius or this much in Fahrenheit. While that bad boy is running in the background, we're going to prepare the monkfish and chorizo. Now you could use mashed potatoes or something instead. I'm sure that would be delicious as well. So first thing we're going to do here is just remove the skin of this chorizo. Wow, look at that. It smells amazing. Oh, I've been looking so much forward to this meal. So the chorizo we're going to cut into about a centimeter slices here. That is going to be about uh, three quarters of an inch for you Americans. While we're cutting this up, I'm just gonna turn on our plate here and we're gonna turn that up to about medium heat. We're gonna toss the chorizo onto here and we're gonna watch out for it a little bit. We're actually gonna use the fat from the chorizo to fry up the monkfish here as well in a moment. For the monkfish, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna clean off any remaining sinew here on the side, this blue stuff. That's uh, not the best uh, tasting uh, part of the monkfish to put it like that. I'm gonna slice it up to slices about the same size as chorizo. So that's gonna be about a centimeter tall and two centimeters wide. And as you can see here, the monkfish has been aged for about 10 days. So it's going to have a lot of natural delicious flavor coming out of it as well. Now you we could use fresh monkfish as well, that's totally fine. We have to make sure to take care of our chorizo here at the same time. So I'm just going to turn those around here. And we're going to add a little extra taste here to the monkfish. So we're going to use rosemary. I have this powdered stuff, but if you have springs, you can chop that up beforehand. So we're gonna add about half a tablespoon to our full tablespoons worth of flour here. Just gonna mix that up. I'm gonna put our monk into here and we're just gonna cover them in this. Now we're ready to add our monkfish slices in here and we're gonna boil them in oil of the chorizo. Now monkfish like this, Generally, it needs to be fried for two or three minutes on both sides. Since these are such small pieces, let's do about two minutes on each side. And let's just toss like a touch of oil in here to make sure nothing burns to the pan. Let us chop up some lettuce. All right, so I think our chorizo uh, monkfish is nearing completion. So let's turn off the heat there and we're going to serve this. All right, so our uh, little uh, potato veggies here just finished up as well. And let's add our chorizo. So obviously this is going to be for two persons or one fat Norwegian guy. And let's add some greens here. So it's at least um, <laughs> slightly healthy. Touch of cherry tomatoes and our pepper. Oh man, I'm super excited about this one. Let's give it a little bit of a taste test here. Let's try the fish first. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. Woo. You really feel the aging in the fish. They're a lot softer and a lot more taste than when it was fresh, uh, like a good week ago. Might do some videos on aging the fish in the future. Let's try an entire piece of this chorizo. Now the french fries, I know are going to be delicious. Cheers. Mm. Best dinner so far in the challenge and that is 10 out of 31 days done mm. that is so good i'm gonna put together an exact recipe for you guys in case you want to make this yourself check out the video description i really really enjoyed this one tomorrow we're gonna have a look at another hopefully as good recipe check that out here thanks for watching this one and i'll see you tomorrow